Group D on Friday, it's Nigeria versus Iceland. Frank Stapleton is alongside me, and Frank, obviously, Iceland, superb defending against Argentina. Yeah, fantastic uh, performance. You know, if if uh, if you're an underdog, that's the way you play. Um, we know what Iceland are about. They had a fantastic uh, European Championships, beat England the last time. <clears throat> and I think that Argentina just about got through this one. Um, but Iceland played the way they play. I don't know what to make of this game because I don't know what Nigeria are going to do. The Icelandics are going to play the same way. Now, can Nigeria deal with the physicality? All right, they, they're a physical team in themselves. But what I mean is they have a different side of physicality than, say, Senegal. So if Senegal and Nigeria were playing each other, they would know what to expect. But this is totally different. And I don't know which way this game is going to turn out in terms of what we're going to see. Are we going to see a spectacle or is the ball going to be always out of play? So, you know, it's, it's, I think this is the hardest one to try and predict because Nigeria, having lost the first game, will be able to try and play a bit of football and show that they've got a bit more than they well, showed in the first game. Well, they've got to going home. The pressure's yeah. on Nigeria, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for sure there is. But uh, Iceland, Iceland know that if they lose the match, that puts them in, in real doubt in the third game. So it's all, all psychological now. Um, I don't know whether we'll see a ball in the air and coming down screaming. On, Come on, whatever. prediction time. I'm going to go for a draw because I, I, I just think negativity, negativity in it all the time. So I go with one all draw. OK, Iceland drew with Argentina in their first game. And Frank's going for another Icelandic draw when they take on Nigeria.